Hey, check it out. These are my Neos. They call them overshoes. I'm really surprised more people don't wear them out here. They're perfect for a combination of a boot and a gaiter. So I've actually been wearing them for, I don't know, close to 20 years. This is my second pair. The first pair lasted like 15 years. It's very customizable. I'll do a review. I know. Like right now. Let me show you the, the boot and how it fits, how you can customize it all the different ways. There's um, a Velcro goes across the top and runs down the whole length of the front. They even have marked inside which one is the left and the right. So you have the strap that goes right over the ankle. When you get your foot in this very wide opening in your boot, even rubber boots, they don't uh, get stuck going in there. And you wiggle your foot down all the way to where you need it to be. You seal up all of this waterproof material all the way up to the top. And now you're in there, but you can make it, you can own this boot and make it a little bit more secure. So first thing you do is you grab this buckle, which is adjustable. And you pull it all the way across to the other side. And then you can cinch it as tight as you need it to be and walk it all the way over to the Velcro on the other side. Now, if that's not a tight enough fit all the way around, you can also turn it around and pull the bungee on the back. It's got a great little handle for you to hoist it up while you're pounding your boot into the bottom of it. Uh, here they look kind of like Herman Munster boots, but uh, when you put them on, they really are comfortable. They don't feel bulky. They're very lightweight. They're very packable. Put them in a little stuff sack in your bag. So long. I never see anybody in the outdoors using them, but they're um, they're really they're really kind of neat because you can Velcro them all the way down. Notice I'm not getting out of the hammock. They Velcro all the way. And they open up this wide. They have uh, that ballistic nylon material on the outside. And inside is rubberized. I don't think you can see that. Let's see. So you can see how it's rubberized on the inside. And when I get back home or into my camp, I've got my Boggs boots inside under them. I'll just take them off. And just pick them off. <laughs> and there's my other boots. And my boots fit right inside them. I've been using them since I started snowshoeing. So they were really handy instead of wearing gaiters. That's my Neos. Yeah, I love them. They fit with whatever boots I'm wearing. You pull them up in the back. And tighten them. These are the calf length. They have them a little bit taller. They have, they really do have some really intense um, treads on the bottom. Some of them have, not these, but some of them have um, cleats or micro spikes. 
Yeah. This way I, I still have my boots on in camp. And if I go out into the to the woods where it's deep, I got something better to wear. And I don't have to worry about getting snow in my pants. Of course I have to take them off the right way. For demonstration purposes. <laughs> course yeah you should check these out this is not a a paid endorsement i've been personally wearing these for a long time they are pretty neat and it's the neos overshoe company very waterproof i've never had a problem with them like i said this is my second pair the first ones i wore them out snowshoeing had them for 15 years they're very uh, flexible, pliable, easy to put on over your boots. I do highly recommend them. Neos. Yeah. All right, enough of that for now. I gotta take a little rest. Get the dog some exercise. Lucy, what you doing? Come here. Come on. Where's Bodie? Do to do do to do do to do to do. All right. I know where they are. 